Hello everyone, it's Rachel here at Clarty Hands Crafts and today I'm going to show you an easy way of adding extra writing space to a journal in the form of a tie closed vertical belly band. You can make it in any size but I wanted it to take up most of the height of the page so that I would be able to place a large journal card behind it once it's stuck in. You need to fold the paper into three sections like a pamphlet fold. You can do it accurately with measurements or you can wing it like I did and this is where we find out those of us who have worked in offices before because we're used to folding it like this to fit in those skinny envelopes. Once you've folded it you can check that it will fit on your page neatly. If you're interested I made this one from an 8 inch piece of thin card, 8 inch squares that is. Now you will need to grab the ribbon or the trim, just whatever you're using for the tie closure. I used a strip of netting Apologies for the choice as it didn't show up very well on the camera. And then you need to tie your ribbon or whatever it is you're using around the belly band, trying to keep the ends of an even length. Position the tie at the point that you would like it to be and I had mine in the centre. It's a good idea to tie it in a bow at this point so that the ends don't get in the way while you're working on the back. Flip the belly band over and then we're going to make a cover for the ribbon and it depends on what type of ribbon or trim that you use as to whether you'll need this step but I did it because I thought it would hold the netting in place more securely than if I had just stuck it straight onto the back of the band and I thought it would make it more secure for when I'm slipping journal cards and things behind it. So I just used a little scrap of card, uh, paper rather, and sandwiched the ribbon in between. So I made the, the paper narrower or very slightly narrower than the width of the back of the belly band. If you're using ink to ink the edges of the belly band inside and out then I would re recommend doing it before you stick your belly band in the journal. I totally forgot to do it at this point so I had to kind of do it later on and just make the best <laughs> job that I could make of it. So I'm gluing the top and bottom in and that will give us the gap between the top and the bottom that we can slide something behind the band. And I've put that in the centre of the page but you could also put it to one side if you prefer. And this would work if you were using a um, horizontal belly band as well. So you could just open it up upwards and downwards. So there you'll see I am untying the ribbon and then I enable well, this is me doing the inking bit, but then you'll be able to open it up and then it reveals lots of space inside. And then you can hide any little pictures or any writing in there as well. So then you can decorate the front however you like. And I just had this strip from uh, one of the nature journals, I can't remember whose it was, but at this point you know the, the ones that I use, the Janet Marsh and the Edith Holden ones. And it was a lovely illustration which coordinated nicely with the rest of this book. So I decided to use that as a very simple decorative thing. So I tore the edges around it and then it was the perfect size. I added a bit of ink just to take off the harsh whiteness of the edges. And then I used plenty of glue to stick it down. So I wanted to take all of that glue right to the edge. I almost gave up on this journal. Um, I wasn't happy with the way it was looking. I think it's something to do with the cover being um, an old, made out of an old pillowcase, which is all bobbly, and the pages just weren't looking right. But then I thought, oh, I'm just going to do it and st stitch it together. So I stitched the signatures inside the journal, and then I really like it all of a sudden. Um, I think as well, all of those printables that I had made myself, um, they had white backs so I put them all back to back so that there was no white shown and then created the pockets that you can see there with you know with a butterfly image that's next to it and that has made some nice pocket pages so I'm really liking it now I need to do something still with the cover but I'm happy so there we go we can pop a journal card behind and then we can open it and close it as we wish to reveal that extra space and then it's got a nice decorative component as well on the front. So I hope you liked today's tutorial. 
let me know if you give it a try. I should say as well that I got this idea from an Instagram photo that I saw ages ago and I can't remember whose, um, whose page it was. So whoever it was, thank you very much. I'll see if I can find it and link it below. Bye!